Hey guys, Frankie Jacks here. And I gotta tell you about this bad, bad experience we had at Pizza Hut. It's following up. Uh, it's like the icing on the cake for these other two experiences we had. And we're done with Pizza Hut now. <clears throat> so, uh, let me tell you the previous two times. There was kids running around all over the place. Really spotty service. And other times, there was, there was kids throwing Super Bowls, uh, bouncing them around the room and stuff like that. Nobody seemed to care. Uh, not the parents, not, uh, you know, the people managing or even working there didn't seem to care. Kind of pissed us off. Two times that happened. So this time, we went there for our wedding anniversary, me and the wife and kids. I know what you're thinking. Wedding anniversary, Pizza Hut, they don't go hand in hand. Well, they kind of do. Because when we were dating, Pizza Hut went there all the time. All the time. Teenagers... Wacky in love getting a five dollar pizza and a couple of sodas hanging out playing the jukebox good times good times <clears throat> So we go this time voting anniversary and uh, there's two other tables seated in there And we get to the spot where you know, we're supposed to seat ourselves or have somebody seat us We're not sure so we go to the counter and ask and they tell us yeah, let's go ahead and grab any table. We'll be right out so after a while waiting, we don't even have menus. Uh, a waitress comes over and she goes, yes, can I take your order? And we're like, yeah, can we get some menus? Because, uh, yeah, we have no idea what the kids are going to eat. And, uh, you know, menus, that'd be great. She goes, oh, okay, yeah, let me go get those for you. Another couple of minutes before we get the menus. Then, um, you know, they come back and uh, we wave them down. And, uh, hey, we'd like to order. So this is So it's like 15 minutes in so far. We haven't even ordered yet. It's kind of shitty. Really, really crappy. Kind of pissed at this point, and I'm sick. I don't even feel like being there, but I'm going out because it's the anniversary. <clears throat> and uh, then they uh, uh, take our order, take our drink order. That's fine. They come back with the drinks. short while later, they come back and they put a check on the table. I'm like, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. What's this? And the waitress goes, oh, that's your bill. I'm like, wait a minute, we, we didn't even get our food yet. What's this? No, oh, sorry about that. That must be for the other table. There's two other tables in the place. What's going on? Ridiculous. I know you guys are busy with carryouts, but there's really no attention paid to my party, and there's only two other tables in the entire place. You should be almost sitting at our table hanging out with us. What's that? Anyway, they bring out the pizza, and we're like, uh, yeah, we ordered an appetizer. Is that, uh, she goes, oh, let me check on that. See what's up with that for you. It was some breadsticks. We wanted them before the pizza. We told them that. And, uh, she goes, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Here they are. Brings us the breadsticks after the pizza. They weren't even our breadsticks. They belonged to the other table. Because the other table complained, hey, uh, we ordered two breadsticks. Where's our other one? It's like, oh, I gave it to that table. I'll, be, I'll get another one in the oven for you. So they screwed up the other table's order by giving us their breadsticks. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, we got to wait forever for refills. It's ridiculous. I didn't need a refill at the time, but the three of them were out. My son was like, come on, we're you know, kind of thirsty. Can I just go over there and get it myself? And it's like, no. No, it's rude. Don't do that. Just, just wait. Here, have some of mine. So I'm probably going to get my kids sick waiting for... Somebody else to come around with uh, something to drink because I was coming down with something. Anyhow, they come back. We get refills. I get a refill even though I don't need one because what the hell? When am I going to see this you know, waitress again? Kind of another 15, 20 minutes. <clears throat> we also ask for a box. So we get the box too. And then they bring over a check. It's not our check. So that's two times we get the wrong check. Once before we even got our food, and now I got another wrong check. So two other tables in the place, we got each of their checks. And wife goes, wait a minute, wait a minute, not ours. She brings it back up there, and they're like, okay, we'll bring you the right one. They bring us another check. It's not ours. Three tables, three checks, none of them are ours. What the hell? So then we bring, they bring us another check. Um... My wife is ragging at him right now about the, the crappy service. Um, I've been in the service industry before. I know 
you got to like take the drinks off or something. You got to do something. After all the times that they dropped the ball that night, do something. Not a single thing. Not a single thing. I give people stuff free all the time at work because they're, you know, I want to keep them happy. That's what you do. Nothing. So we go and we take the survey that's on the back of the receipt when we get out of there. And the survey doesn't work because they printed so many different receipts uh, attached to this order number that they've screwed up something. It doesn't work. Okay, send you guys an email. We're never coming back to Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut, you failed. Mega fail. You pissed me off. Yours, your, yours. We used to go there all the time, like twice a week. Now uh, you blew it. I mean, my whole fan, that's uh, 60 bucks. 60 bucks. I could be spending your place a week. Because uh, the, the food's good, the kids love it. If it's something the kids eat, you got to go with it, right? No. You guys blew it. Pizza fail. Thanks. Oh, happy anniversary to me.